Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you how you can create an abandoned cart reminder for your Shopify web shop in Facebook Messenger. And to do this, we are going to use ManyChat. So how abandoned cart generally works is when someone adds a product to their cart on your website and then goes away from your website, you can automatically send them a reminder. And that's what we're going to do today. But before we're going to actually build the flow, I will first tell you about the chatbot strategy that we're going to use. So if we want to send an abandoned cart reminder inside Facebook Messenger, we first need them to opt into our Messenger chatbot. So in order to do that, we will show them a pop-up on our website with a 10% discount. And when somebody clicks on that pop-up, they will directly go to Facebook Messenger. Here they will get the 10% discount. And then when the user adds something to their card and forgets to make an order, we can automatically send them a reminder with our Messenger chatbot. So as you can see, I created a really simple Shopify web shop with one product in it for this tutorial. And to create our campaign, we need to connect this Shopify web shop to ManyChat. And if you haven't used ManyChat before, just go to the link in the description and create your own ManyChat account, which is free up to a thousand users. But if you want to use the Shopify integration with ManyChat, you need to go with the pro plan and this will cost you $15 for the first 500 users per month. So let's go to ManyChat, then go to settings, then scroll down until you see integrations. And then here you have the Shopify integration. So then we need to fill in the domain. So you can go to your Shopify store. You can just copy this domain without the HTTPS. So I copy this, I'm going to paste it here and then I click on connect Shopify account. Then it automatically goes to Shopify and you can just scroll down and click on install unlisted app. So when you have done this, a pop-up automatically appears that asks if you want to install the pre-built templates. And we want to do this because this will save us a lot of time. So you can just click on get my templates and then we have three templates. So we are going to start with the Shopify add to cart pop-up for opt-in. So you can just click on this and then choose for edit flow. And here we need to change two things. So now this pop-up opens up when someone adds something to their card, but we want it to open up before they add something to their card after a few seconds. And also we need to change the text inside this flow. So let's start with changing the pop-up. So you can just click on messenger model, click on it again, and then click on show preview. And here you can see the preview of your pop-up and we want to change the title and we want to change the text and the button. So we pretty much want to change everything. So we will first start with the title and we set it to, do you want 10% discount on your first order? So that's the first thing. And then we will change the text to click the button below to get 10% discount on your first order. Then if we scroll down, then here we can set the button text to receive this in Messenger. And I generally recommend to set this to this button text so people know that they're going to Facebook Messenger instead of staying on your website. So then on the left hand side, you can set all different settings. So you can change the button type, you can change the colors, you can change the background of the button, the button size. And I will just leave this as is, but just know that you can change all those settings. Then we need to select when does this pop-up display. So now it displays when somebody clicks on the add to cart button. But I generally doesn't recommend to do this because you need to give them a reason to add something to their cart. So you need to show it before they added something to their cart. So you can just select the seconds have passed. And I generally recommend to set it to 30 seconds, but because we need to test it out, I will set it to five seconds and we want to show the widget to the same contact again after several hours or days. I generally recommend to never do this. When somebody has already seen this pop up and didn't click on the button, you want to set it to never. And also if the pop up is closed by a contact, I also would never show this pop up again. But we need to test it out right now. So now we'll set it to always. 
but in general i would set it to never then you can just click on next and then you will see the submitted state and the submitted state is when somebody clicked on the button the pop-up can change so you can change the headline and you can change the text and i also will leave this as is but just know that you can change it then we can click on next and here we can select on which pages we want to show the pop-up. So we can hide it on specific pages and we can show it on specific pages. And for this tutorial, I only want to show it on one specific product page. So when I go to my store, I just click on this product page and I just copy this URL and paste it here. And I also want to show it on mobile and desktop, but you could also only show it on desktop or only show it on mobile. And then you can just click on save. So now that we have created the pop-up, we need to send a message that will take the user back to our website. So if we go back, then we have the message that is automatically sent when somebody opts in on our pop-up. So we will set the content type to other, and we will just remove this and then we will say hey first name click on the button below to get your 10% discount then we can add a nice icon and then we can say this coupon is automatically added to your shopping cart so you don't have to do anything and then we can add another icon so how can we do this we can do this by first creating our coupon so you can just click on these percentages and then we can select a coupon campaign so I will just create a new one and we will make it a static coupon and I will call it coupon 10 and I will also copy this and then we can click on next and then here we will fill in the discount value which is 10 the discount type is a percentage and the static coupon is coupon 10 and then we can click on create campaign so what we then do is we delete this from the text message and we're going to add a button so the first thing that we're going to do is add a nice icon and then we're going to say shop with 10% off and then we need to set it to open website and then we need to fill in our URL so what we need to do is go back to our store then we need to copy this URL so without the products and without the t-shirt so we'll copy this then we will paste it here and then you need to say slash discount slash coupon 10 which is the name of our discount code and the reason why you want to do this is when somebody clicks on this button automatically the coupon code is added to their card so they don't have to manually fill in that discount code again so this is really useful and which will improve the conversion of your web shop so then i will just click on done i will remove the other messages that are automatically added so i will delete those and then we can click on publish and that should be working so if we go to the store to my t-shirt and I will just refresh the page then we need to wait five seconds and then in five seconds the pop-up is shown as you can see so then we will click on receive this in messenger and then click on view it in messenger and then messenger automatically opens and it says, hey, Joran, click on the button below to get your 10% discount. So we'll click on shop with 10% off. And then if we go to our catalog, go to the products, click on the add to card. I will click on view card. So we'll just go to the checkout page to show you that the coupon code is automatically added. So we'll go to the checkout. As you can see, the discount is automatically added to our checkout. So your user doesn't even need to fill in the discount code themselves. So this is working. When someone comes to your product page, a pop-up will automatically shows up that will ask for a 10% discount. And when the user clicks on that pop-up, 
they will go to Facebook Messenger and they will get their 10% discount. So now we need to create the second part, sending an abandoned card reminder in Messenger. So let's go back to ManyChat, go to Flows, then choose the Shopify abandoned card, and then select the Shopify first abandoned card reminder. And here we need to change some small things. So the first thing that we need to change is the trigger. So this trigger is automatically set to one hour. And in general, I also would set this to one hour, but because I need to test it out for this tutorial, I would set it to five minutes. But in general, one hour sending your first reminder after one hour is a really good approach. Then if we click on this message, we need to set the content type to other, and we could change some minor things in the copy. So what we could do is this copy is actually pretty good. So what we could add is PS, don't forget to use your discount code coupon 10. And then we can add a nice icon. Then at the bottom, then it shows the current products a user has in their card. And then it says, want to complete your purchase? And then it says, check out now. And then here we can also add a nice icon that will improve the conversion of your chatbot. So then we'll just click on publish. And then there's still one thing that we need to do left is that we click on the abandoned card and then we need to activate it. And then this trigger is also activated. So when we go back to our store, we will just add this to our card and then we will go away. And now we need to wait five minutes until the abandoned card reminder is automatically sent to us. And as you can see, after five minutes, the automatic abandoned card reminder is sent. And it will say, hey, Jordan, you recently started an order in our store, but it seems you haven't had the time to place it. We tell them about the discount code and we say want to complete your purchase. And it also automatically show which products are in the card. So for example, if I also added more products, such as more t-shirts, then it would automatically be a gallery. And that's how you create a Shopify abandoned card reminder in Facebook Messenger with your ManyChat chatbot. Another thing you could also do is when you go back to your Shopify abandoned card folder, you could also send a second abandoned card reminder. And on the one hand, you could do this, but sometimes people see this as being too pushy. So if you think this is not the right fit for your audience, I won't recommend to do it. But if you're going to do it, I would set the first reminder to one hour and I would set the second reminder to eight hours. This is generally what I use when sending second abandoned card reminders. But that was it. If you have any questions about using ManyChat and Shopify together, please let me know in the comments and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.